Hi, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to add a contact form to your WordPress website using the plug a free plugin called Contact Form 7 and also how to add a security capture so that uh, to prevent people from spamming you your your email. So let's start by going to the page. This is our contact us page and here this um, section here is where I've got, uh, put our contact form so in most cases what you'll do is you'll actually grab a short code and paste it into your normal WordPress editor which will normally look something a lot uh, like this um, but because we're using salient theme we're using a visual composer to compose um, our layouts for our pages. So first thing is you just need to um, add your contact form in this section here and then choose the form that you've created. So to download the, the plugin, you just go to plugins, add new, and then type in contact form seven. The next plugin you want to add is a plugin called Really Simple Capture, and I believe it's by the same author as Contact Form 7. So they link up really well. And so, yeah, we'll start off with our, our form. Um, when you install the plugin, it creates a, a default form that you can use, and it starts with this page here. Um, so what you don't get is, oh, sorry, let me start with what you do get. Okay. By default, this is the form, uh, that contact form plugin creates, um, which is fine. It's good. Um, but for me, it's, it's not, uh, enough for a form. Um, so if I just go back to our page with the contact form, you've got your name, which you must provide, your email, which you must provide, but then your subject and your message. Um, by default, it's not required that you need to send this. And obviously there's no capture. So another thing that's missing that's uh, pretty crucial for our business is a contact for a number. Um, so we're going to add the contact phone number field and it's going to be a required field. So unless you fill out all of these fields, you won't be able to send your inquiry. So I'm going to start with the phone field. And so I'm going to go to my contact form, um, which is here and contact forms. And OK, we've only got one form on this site, so I'll click on that one. And all I'm going to do here is add a number. So here are the options of, of the different things you can add. So you just want to add a number. Um, a field box, spin box versus slider. Uh, I'm just going to go with the default for this one. Make sure you tick required field. And the default value, um, the default value is I believe it's a placeholder. So you could have, uh, if you want, um, for example, if you had a number field here and you wanted them to provide the area code in a specific format, you could have, you could show that by giving a, an example placeholder here. Um, so we're just going to leave it as is. Um, and then we're just going to change this to num number or let's say contact number contact number and then we're going to scroll down uh, we're going to insert the tag and 
our cursor was right at the top so it's just placed at any old place right at the top so I'll just cut that and I want it to appear after the email section so here's your email and now I want it to be there in number so if I save this let's see what it looks like on the page okay so it's added this field um, which is not really what we were after um, so we're gonna have to go back to our contact form and add a telephone is actually the one we wanted to use not number so let's click on number uh, oops remove this one and click tell and change the name to contact number required field and let's insert the tag okay so that's gonna work a bit better but as you can see before when we added this we didn't add any text above as the other ones do so let's just copy and paste from the other um, okay <clears throat> and so I've just pasted that I've copied and pasted this text here but I just want to change it to your contact number and I want to put I didn't copy this paragraph closing paragraph tag so I'll close that and and then I'll save and there's our new field okay so I also want to make the subject and your message required fields so all I have to do to make those required fields is add a asterisk just at the end of text and also just the, at the end of text area and that will make them required fields Lastly, what I want to do is um, add a security capture. So I'm just going to, I want it to appear just before the submit button. So I'll just copy and paste some text. I'll change the text to security question. Please type in the numbers and or letters in the field below pictured and then obviously we don't want the telephone field to come up so I'll just backspace and then I'll click on capture and let's insert that save and perfect so there's our capture there so if I were to type in my fields here contact number subject test 2 test 2 let's say let's leave your our, our message out for this one see what happens and press send so I haven't obviously filled in these these loaders here okay so because I didn't fill out the message field it won't let me send the, the, the inquiry so I'm gonna have to type in again something here and then I have to type in these letters C48S and then press send so obviously typed in the wrong letters there it's actually C2BU send 
and that's all there is so the last things I want to do is I just want to make sure that people know that the subject and the message is required so I'm just going to copy and paste here and refresh the page perfect and that's all there is for uh, uh, creating the actual contact form but I also want to show you what the settings the settings for the contact form uh, here is the mail settings so let's say we want to go to all the, the inquiries to go to info at and then your domain um, <clears throat> and the from so whenever you in so if your email is info at and you receive an email from this inquiry it will say from uh, and I would say from your email was probably the best one to have. So here's what I want to do. I was going to copy in the from section. I want it to just say the person's email. Subject will be the person's subject. And then also reply to so you know exactly which email to reply to. Then here's the message body settings. Um, we want to include the contact number, which is here. Just copy and paste this into this section. So I'll say contact number, and then it will, and then whatever the person filled out when they're making the inquiry will come up there. Uh, the message body. Well, I also want their name to come here, um, whereas it doesn't really need to be up here as much. Um, so let's say name. Email. And then I'll just give myself a space for the message body and then I'll click save and <clears throat> lastly you want to see the message settings and any additional settings And and that's it. So I'll save that. And I'll just do a quick test email to check if it's con gone to the right um, person. Okay, so let me do the test quickly. Daniel Scaturas, 072-152-3998. Subject email test. Uh, let's just put in some text here. And I'll type in the security question 5NTX and submit. So the message has been sent to the email that we. Uh, selected which is info at and I'll just refresh the email and here is the email we got email test it says from WordPress uh, so we might need to change the from section and if I just go into the email it's perfect I can see the person's name that person's email the person's contact number and their message and
So maybe we just need to quickly go in and edit that setting here. Um, the from, we can make it the, we can also say the person's name. So let's do that. Your name and email. And that's it. A save and away you go. That's all for the tutorial. Thank you very much and I'll see you for the next one.